What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. Uh, today, we're going to do a, a little bit of a different video. Um, this this is something I've been kind of been putting off for a little while, and I don't really know why. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about um, weighing their fish and scales, and what kind of scales I recommend and all that. And I, I don't know why I haven't done this video before. I, I've started the video before. I've, I've edited some of them, and I've never posted them for some reason. I guess I wasn't completely confident when I was doing it back when I first started my videos but uh I like to think I've gotten better at editing and better at talking to you all in the camera and whatnot so uh today I'm gonna talk to you guys about the scale that I use and scale that I believe in every year and that is the connect scale so come on guys alright guys so today we're gonna talk about our scales um it got brought up um, back in April when I broke my personal best uh, largemouth on Lake Chickamauga. I had my Connect Scale 3 with me. It was brand new at the time. Not a lot of people had seen it. And I got a lot of questions about it. Um, not a lot of people knew about it. Um, so I'm gonna, I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of uh, talk to y'all about it, tell y'all about it, and uh, kind of tell y'all why I choose Connect Scale, why I like Connect Scale so much. Um, and believe it or not, it has absolutely nothing to do with the scale. <laughs> and I know a lot of people are like, well, that defeats the whole purpose. Um, yeah, it kind of does, but I, we're going to go over why I enjoy it so much. So first of all, I'm going to just show you all the scale. Um, you know, it's, it's your basic run and mill scale. It's handheld. Um, it can weigh up to, actually, I don't even remember how much it can weigh up to. I think it can weigh up over 50 pounds or something like that. I'll, I'll link the actual, actual total of what it can weigh below, but... Um, it does come with a uh, lip gripper, which I really like um, because I do not like using these in their gills. I, I hate that stuff. I can't stand doing that. So I actually uh, just pinch that straight onto their lip and then put the hook through here. And voila, that's how I weigh my fish. Um, a lot of people just go ahead and cut that off and put it directly on there with a split ring. You can do it however you want. Uh, this is just the way I like to do it. Um, but it is a backlit um, screen. Uh, you've got your different units. You can go pounds. You can go ounces. You know, you, you've got all kinds of different settings on it, uh, kilograms. Um, so that that's that's the scale in itself. Um, it is. It's not waterproof. Um, you know, I know that was one big question that a lot of people asked about. But it is water resistant. Um, this cover is going to protect your batteries. It's going to protect any kind of condensation, water, anything from getting in there. Now, obviously, if you drop it straight into the lake, yeah, you're screwed. Um, you, you're not. You're not going to solve that with any scale. I don't know of any waterproof scales, but um, at least we have some water resistance on this, so you don't have any more issues during the rain and stuff like that. So. Now we're going to get to what I really love about Connect Scale. And I know a lot of people are still baffled by this because they don't really understand. This is what I love about Connect Scale. So we are going to do, um, we're going to do something I've never done before. We're going to try this. Um, we are going to open up the Connect Scale app. No, wait a minute. We are going to open up the Connect Scale app here in just a second. I have got to try to remember how to screen record. Okay. Okay, now, now that I finally figured that out, we are now screen recording on my iPhone. So I'm gonna show you all exactly how I go through. I'm gonna put it up over here so you can see it while I'm doing it, while I'm talking to you. So we're gonna click on the Connect Scale app here. Now the Connect Scale app is going to open, sorry, is going to open up my catch log and this is every catch I've ever made and this includes oh gosh this includes all of the uh, uh, demoing we did at the um, at the East Tennessee Fishing Expo this includes every time I've ever demoed it for anybody to show it off uh, so I'm actually going to show you all here and now uh, how this works on camera to the phone all this jazz so this might be a little rough. I've, I've never actually done this before working on my phone while recording. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all my profile. Um, this is the profile that I run. Um, this shows all my catches, all that jazz. If you ever want to enter any, um, uh, enter any uh, online events, uh, this is where the online events happen. And this is how you keep track of everything. So on the screen here, you can see all my catches, or just random catches all throughout there. Um, you can, you know, find your friends over here. 
um, is based. I'm not really sure what it's based off of. I guess it's based off of your uh, Facebook and your email and all that jazz. Um, but anyway, so you see here uh, on the left here, I'm showing you all from left to right on the screen. Also, this is going to be kind of weird for me to do on the with the editing and all that jazz, but it'll work. Uh, so my average weight uh, with you know testing and all that jazz is 2.55 pounds. Um, th this is the lifetime of my scale. Um, my personal best that I've weighed on the scale that I imported into the app is only 6.15. Obviously, I have a 7.01, but I was when I caught that I was so flustered I didn't I forgot to open the app, <laughs> so I forgot to even put that in here. And then total weight that I've weighed in on the fish is 137.88 pounds. That's the total weight of the lifetime of my scale and app together. So enough about that. We are going. Oops, soup. Okay, we are going to go ahead and add a catch. We are going to do this fresh, straight up. So you have got to make sure that your phone is paired to your scale, and that is something I have not done because I have a brand new phone. I uh, I dropped my phone in Douglas Lake a while back. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a hold of the scale, and I'm going to enter in. If I can get it to hold, because this is very difficult to do by hand. All right, I'm going to see if I can get it to weigh this, and we will enter this in as a weight. Um, since I can't actually hold it, it's not wanting to do it for me. So, all right, so it held at 1.32 pounds. Okay, that is the weight that it held in at. And as you can see over here, I, I'm struggling talking to the phone and all that jazz. As you can see on the screen, it, it brought it in at 1.32 pounds and it actually shows my location as well. Now, once you weigh, once you have put that in, you can actually click on it and now you can go in here and you can do all kinds of things with it. This is why I love this app so much. You can add your photo if you want to. We can come into my camera library here and we can click on it and we can go, all right, there's there's the camera. I'm taking a picture of my catch, boom. That's what we will use there, use that photo. Connect scale would like to access your photos. Yes, you have to allow that. Boom, there's your photo of your catch now, of what you just weighed in. Now, the cool part about this is you can come down here to the notes section and you can put in your notes. So we're gonna put, uh, caught this fish on spinnerbait seven feet of water water temp was 72 boom oh well it's not wanting me to okay anyway you get the point so we're able to actually go in there and put all kinds of different um information in there now um i did not do it correctly that time because i forgot to show you the rest of it so we're gonna wait one more time okay now we have weighed in another 4.3 that that's what we've weighed in now so we're going to click on it this is what i want to show you the previous time you have all of these different um details that you can add in there so you see we've got the weight of 4.3 pounds here then we can add in the length you know we can tell it was 22 and in, 22.3 inches the girth of it, it was Right, shoot, I don't ever actually put in the girth. 17.3 inches around. Species, you can, oh my goodness, you have all kinds of different categories over here of all kinds of different stuff you can enter in there. So you will start typing large mouth and it will come up just like that. If it was a small mouth, you can start typing small mouth. Yeah, you can start typing spotted bass. Uh, you know, it'll, it'll let you put in anything and everything that you want to put in there. You also can choose your bait. Um, I don't think the baits are quite as in depth as you want. Um, like it, it gives categories, um, so you're able to get a gist of what it is. Uh, the technique, obviously, we're casting um, waterway. A lot of the time, what's happening right now is because I didn't catch this on the waterway, it's not showing up that I was on a water anywhere in the map profile. It's actually showing that I'm on land somewhere. So that's why you need the waterway in there. So in case it's an unnamed area or a pond or something along those lines, any other time it will show up in the actual um, here, uh, this area here. That is what will actually show up and show you the waterway like, like this one, like that. Um, that was caught. Where was that caught? 
That was caught on the John Severe Reservoir. Oh, I remember that fish. That was that, yeah, that was that big one with my brother. So, um, but anyway, so that, that that's what I absolutely love about this app. And you can also add in uh, here, you've got air temperature. You know, we can add in that it's only 62 degrees right now. The water temperature was, you know, 71 degrees right now. Uh, there's our location. And then the event code. Um, obviously, it's blank right now because I don't, I'm not in any public tournaments. But there is an event code section. And you're actually able to participate in these online events and you know that's one of the coolest things about connect scale you can compete with people all across the united states uh, sometimes they'll divide it into south and north they'll do it by states they'll do it by species they'll do all kinds of different actual um events and that's the great thing about connect scale is you can connect with all kinds of people all across the country so we're going to go ahead and save that i think we're done in the app um here is the events page that you can check out all that stuff. Uh, we've got the Aaron Martins tournament coming up on October 3rd. That's in a few days. Um, and you can actually view and join that on here. Um, it, you know, I don't know why I'm showing you all the camera. I know you can see it in my hand. Um, it's, a, it's a $50 entry fee. You'll just hit join, and then uh, it'll take you through the process of doing all that stuff. And it's, it's a really cool way to be able to fish these tournaments. Now, you're also able to hold your own tournament events. Um, if you and your buddy want to go out and have a 1v1 and just try to see who catches the most fish, you can set that up in here as well. I'm not very good at that. I've never done it yet, but it is other features that are capable of being done in the app. So guys, like I said, I, I told y'all in the last video we were going to be doing things a little bit differently because I, I was in Florida while I was filming all of this, so I wasn't able to actually be out on the water. But uh, I, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I hope that answers some questions for those people that were asking me specifically about what scale I use why I use Connect Scale and all that jazz. Um, Connect Scale is actually moving from Connect Scale to Connect Outdoors now. Um, so a little bit of a rebrand, uh, re but uh, still the same same scale, same profile, same app, all that jazz. Uh, it's a really great app to be able to use. So uh, guys, I really hope y'all like this video. I'd appreciate a like, a comment down there. Hit that subscribe button for me. Like I said, I greatly appreciate that. And if you guys are ever out on Douglas, Cherokee, um, Norris, South Holston, Watauga, if you ever see me, Come over, say hey, we'll talk fish and hang out for a little bit. Guys, I hope you all have a good week. Go out there, catch some pigs. Take care, y'all.